Hey guys, and welcome to my first review here on the channel, Solo Style. And uh, what am I here to talk about? I'm here to talk about the surprisingly popular new show on Peacock, Twisted Metal, based on the very popular video game series. I watched all of season one, so let's talk. All right, so in this world, it is the post-apocalypse. Not really definite on the year that the apocalypse went down this world, but it looks like it wasn't modern day. Anywho, the world goes to crap. The internet is down. All of electricity is down. And all of the... Well-off people have quarantined themselves in the big cities. And they let everybody else just fend for themselves in these walled-off cities. And how do you get one thing from one city to another when no electricity is available? You call in a milkman, which our stories. Follows one said milkman, John Doe, played by Anthony Mackie. He's been doing this for as long as he can remember. And he leads a very nomadic life, traveling from one city to another. Mainly, I believe, sticking into California. But it's a living. And it's just him in his car. And then he gets an offer from one of the big cities that he cannot refuse. And that is... Go to here, pick up this thing for me, and bring it back. And if you do that for me, I will make sure that you no longer have to lead a nomadic life. And that you can have a home. That you can live. In my city. And that's a pretty hard offer to refuse. So he says sure. And along the way he runs into several speed bumps. Pun intended. Including Stephanie Beatrix. Who plays a character named Quiet. Who is a mostly quiet person who has her own story and vendetta and a bunch of other stuff going on that coincides with his journey and together they set off to do the things. Other roadblocks include the commune as they call it which is this cool thing of connected trucks. They also run into the main villain of the season, Agent Stone, which is a, a twisted take on one of the characters from the video games, played by Thomas Hayden Church. He's something else. And also one of these roadblocks that they come across is the, I guess you could say, mascot for the video game series. And that is Sweet Tooth the Clown. Played by both Samoa Joe and Will Arnett. And together they make a really cool, creepy clown that you sometimes root for. It's hard to say, but definitely very messed up in the head. This show is very messed up in the head, kind of. It's filled with a lot of action, blood, and vulgarity. Mostly in the best of ways, but sometimes maybe a little too much. 
And also, some of the effects are off. And some of the jokes just don't hit like they want to. But overall, the action scenes are really well done. The leads have amazing chemistry. All the actors do a great job. It isn't perfect, but it's a very fun run. Pun intended again. Anyway, that is my non-spoiler talk about this. Now I'm going to get into spoilers. So, thanks for watching. Come back and watch it when you've seen it. All right. You've been warned. Spoiler time. Oh boy. So, first of all, for the spoiler talk, I want to talk about the actors and what they had to portray. First of all, the actor that I couldn't even mention because to talk about her would be to spoil, and that is Nev Campbell. She was awesome as the head of the town and very good with the whole villain, but with the false veneer of being sweet. It was really cool to see her and she was really well done. Kind of wish we got to see more of her than at the very beginning and at the very end. But she's really cool. Anthony Mackie. Oh my god. Some of the stuff that they put him through. Just even physically. Like with the fighting. Especially with the preacher. <laughs> Which was a great surprise for that actor. Because it's a Brooklyn Nine-Nine reunion. But anyway back to Mackie. You get to see him be fun and charismatic in a way that he can't for Marvel because Marvel, you're not really allowed to cuss or do a lot of blood. You got to just let loose, be like a cocky asshole in the best way, which the other asshole in here that you rooted for was Stephanie Beatrix as Quiet. And the mental gymnastics that her character had to go through, like, not in a bad way, but in a good way. With dealing with her brother's death and trying to get revenge and then realizing that revenge is not the best. Also, the shit that they put her through in the flashback. Oh my god. Yeah. Thomas Hayden Church. Mm. Agent Stone is a very, like, good commentary on, like policemen and stuff and like what they would be like when the world goes to shit and Thomas Hayden Church portrayed that very well you hated him in the best kind of way also hating is Sweet Tooth done like I said by Samoa Joe physically and vocally by Will Arnett definitely a very complex character you were scared of him kind of rooted for him in a weird anti-hero way until they remind you oh yeah this guy's batshit insane and you're like ah but both of them did very well as the one character and all the other side characters I thought were done pretty well I seriously doubt that Bloody Mary is dead also, I don't think Agent Stone is dead, and I'm pretty sure we're going to get to see the Preacher again. Well, they confirmed it at the end, basically. Which brings me to one of my negatives of this, which is that we find out at the very end that this whole season is just a build-up to the video game. The Twisted Metal event. Which I get other people have done it well. Like the newest Mortal Kombat. Others not so much like the uh, Chung Li movie. Where you, you use your thing to set up what everybody's knowing is going to happen. 
from the video game in the sequel or second season for this. Which I get and is a good way to go, but it also kind of makes you think that since this is all build up, kind of maybe a little bit overhypes the sequel or the second season in this case, and kind of makes you wonder how worth it was this to get to the big cheese in a different season. But not too much to where it's not uh, enjoyable. Just a little irk in the back of my head. Most of my negatives for this are like, I believe I've said already, some of the jokes didn't hit. Like the whole, the internet didn't have, the world didn't have internet porn anymore. So that's why the world went to shit. And other things like that. And the storm. That was really bad effects. And there were other effects that were kind of bad. There were just little things here and there that I've already went into detail in a non-spoiler that just kind of irk me. There were still great moments. Like I said, Anthony Mackie and Stephanie Beatrix have amazing chemistry and some of the things that they do with them is really cool in the action scenes and really weird. Like the ball pit scenes. And granted, they were funny, but it was also kind of weird. And uh, this whole show was weird, badass, funny. And even though I had my qualms with it, I cannot wait for season two. Now, season two, like I said, looks like it's going to be the video game, which I'm excited for and scared for as well, because it looks like they're going to need a bigger budget, which might not be a bad thing. Like I said, with the storm, but also because the show's seeming to be very popular. So hopefully they will get the budget that they need. Because it's going to be crazy and I can't wait to see it. Like I said, we have it confirmed that the preacher's coming back. I don't think Stone is dead. I think he's coming back for it. I also think that Bloody Mary isn't dead and that she's going to come back for it. That we're going to have a couple other surprises and new people from the comics. I mean, from the games. Bah, sorry. I can't wait for that. I also can't wait for John Doe and Quiet to reunite. Because the way they ended things, I get it. But geez, it's kind of hard to watch in a good way. And the way that they're bringing them back together, it seems is by introducing Baby Doll and having Baby Doll be his sister, which might be video game lore. I don't really know. It's been a while since I've played the games, but still it was really cool to see as like a last little like twist post credits theme thing. Get quiet back. That was really cool. I do hope that we get to see more of Nev Campbell next season. Though I have a feeling that the way that they set it up, we might not. Also, can't wait to see the new people that join. And it'll be rough to see some of the people that we know are confirmed for Twisted Metal. Because we know that two people enter the arena and only one can come out. Which means that some of our favorite people, like the, the lead of the commune, probably going to have to die. Which is not going to be fun to see or who knows it might because the show is overall fun I've had my qualms with it and I've gone into somewhat detail with you some of it was harder to put into detail but like I said overall I still had a really fun time with it the action the actors most of the comedy all that combined I think in the end I'm gonna have to give it a 7.5 out of 10. So thanks for watching. Let us know what you think of the show down below. Do you think it deserves a higher or lower rating? Are you excited for season two like I am? What do you want to see in the season two? Let us know all that and more in the comments down below. Once again, thanks for watching. See you.
next time, probably with the boys. But for now, peace.